The sorts of problems that people identified to us were firstly uh, that there are often financial disincentives in the system for mothers to work more hours because of the interaction of the uh, taxation and welfare systems in Australia. Also, we found that there were many uh, programs of funding for childcare, over 20 federal uh, childcare education and, and learning funding programs, and often the uh, objectives are not well targeted. There's overlap between the programs, so uh, the sector is right for an overhaul. The cost of the supporting the childcare system is rising fast. It's currently $7 billion and certainly unsustainable into the future for taxpayers. We recommend a single child-based early care and learning subsidy for up to 100 hours per fortnight paid to the provider of the parent's choice. The way we're proposing it in the draft report is that low-income families would receive up to 90% of the reasonable cost of care and that would decline as income rises but to a minimum of 30%. We've done some preliminary economic modelling and we've shown there would be the equivalent of about 165,000 full-time people available to enter the workforce uh, and that would lead to a small increase in GDP.